So you're thinking about moving to Florida and you wanna weigh the pros and cons? Well, in this video, we're gonna go over our top five pros and our top five cons of moving to Southeast Florida. Hey, I'm Andy Mandel. I'm a broker associate with Remax Advisors. And if this is your first time to the channel, this is where we go over everything there is to know about eating, living, sleeping, working, playing, and enjoying all the beautiful things that South Florida has to offer. So if that interests you, make sure you subscribe to our channel and tap that bell icon so you get notified every time we do a new video. Honestly, we get so many calls, texts, and emails every single day from people looking to relocate here to Southeast Florida, and we absolutely love it. So if you're looking to move down here to South Florida, make sure you give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. You can even send a smoke signal or a carrier pigeon or slide into our DMs. Any way you wanna communicate, we got your back when moving to South Florida. All right, pro number one of moving to South Florida is we have no state income tax. Depending on where you're moving from, you might be paying you know, six, seven, 10% of your income to state income tax, not in Florida. So you could be saving a substantial amount of money depending on where you're moving from just by saving on state income tax. We do have a sales tax, so just about anywhere in South Florida, the sales tax is 7%, so there's no such thing as a free lunch. There are taxes here, but uh, it's a big, big savings on your income tax. Pro number two is homestead exemption on your property. If you make Florida your legal residence, meaning you're here for 181 days or more out of the year, you qualify for the homestead exemption on your primary residence. So this is the home that you live in, it's your primary residence, and what that does is it's going to reduce the amount of money that you have to pay in property taxes. It ends up being about a $900 a year savings on your property taxes, which is a big savings to begin with, but the real benefit is over time, it limits the amount that your taxes can actually go up on a year per year basis. So you know, if you're in a property for 10, 15 years, it keeps your taxes a lot lower than what they otherwise would have been if they were to go up and they get reassessed every year based on the increasing price of your home. So it keeps your taxes lower in the long run too. And it's a huge long-term savings. Pro number three, the weather is good all year round. If you're coming from the Northeast, you are going to love it when you don't have to shovel snow or do any of that kind of terrible stuff in the winter. You don't have to de-ice your car, none of that. Uh, in the summer, it gets pretty hot and humid. So from June to November, uh, it, you know, I guess June to September, it's you know in the 90s, it's very, very humid, but from November to April, you know, highs are in the 70s and 80s. We get lows if we get a really cold front. You know, we'll get lows in the 50s, sometimes the 40s. Uh, and but it's beautiful, beautiful weather in the winter. Just a little bit hotter in the summer, uh, but sunshine all year round. They don't call it the sunshine state for nothing. Uh, in the summer, you do have to expect a rainstorm about between 1 and 3 p.m. every day in the afternoon. It normally doesn't rain for longer than 30 minutes to an hour, uh, and then the sun comes back out. So. You're gonna love the weather, especially if you're coming from the north when it's cold. If you're tired of shoveling snow, South Florida's for you. Pro number four of moving to Florida is all the beaches and the outdoor activities you can do. Because the weather's so nice almost all year round, you can, there's always something to do outside, whether it's golf, going to the beach, going for a run, riding your bike, you name it, there's an outdoor activity for you. And as you go up and down and, and travel around South Florida, you'll see everyone is really enjoying the active outdoor lifestyle, making the most of the beautiful weather that we have. Pro number five is proximity to a lot of other major cities. So in South Florida, a lot of the cities kind of blend together and you're very close to a lot of other cities. So we specialize in Boca Raton and some of those surrounding cities in that area, but you're just 45 minutes from, uh, for, 45 minutes from West Palm Beach, 30 minutes from Miami, or excuse me, 30 minutes from Fort Lauderdale, about 45 minutes to an hour to Miami. So you're very close to all the major cities. 15 minutes from Del Rey, Boynton Beach. There's just so much going on in a relatively close uh, proximity to Boca. So you're really gonna love exploring all the different areas of South Florida. All right, now for the cons. Con number one, it gets very humid in the summer. So if you don't like humidity, this might not be the right place for you. In the summer, you, know, you get out of your car, it does feel sticky and it's very, very hot. You have to get used to you know, walking outside and starting to sweat almost instantly but the winter months are, are great. It really does, in my opinion, make up for how humid it gets in the summer. Con number two is traffic. Especially on I-95 during rush hour, traffic can be really, really bad. They're doing a ton of construction on I-95, trying to widen the lanes, add you know, off ramps and stuff like that. So they're actively working to mitigate how bad the traffic's gotten. But you know, we're pretty landlocked here. There's a lot of people who live in South Florida. Traffic can be pretty bad as you're going up and down I-95 during rush hour or if you end up going from east to west or vice versa, just there's a lot of lights as you go that way. 
So traffic can be pretty bad if you're going that way, but it's really only terrible around rush hour time. So make sure you factor that into your commute. Con number three is the schools. So depending on where you live, the schools can either be really, really, really good, or they can be not so good. So you have to make sure if schools are important to you, if you have you know, school-aged children, make sure you're doing your research on what school zones are, are best for you. That's obviously a very personal decision for most people. Just make sure you're doing your, your homework there. Um, typically, in my opinion and from what I see, in Northwest Broward and in South Palm Beach County, the schools end up being the best. And if you go into Central Broward County, they end up not being as good. Just make sure you do your homework and if you need any guidance, reach out to us. We're happy to assist with that.